got my cologne. Tss, tss, tss. You know how that works. Just, you know, I got, I'm feeling good that night. Huh? I, I spooned between these two Australian men who know each other. She took it and she looked at me and she went in to give me a kiss and I fucking bolted. <laughs> I just, I panicked. I, I, I don't know what the hell to do with that. And like Leah pushing me against the brick pillar and going, who is it? Who's your girlfriend? <laughs> And I was like, it's you, okay? <laughs> Imagine if Scarface wasn't about a drug dealer, but it was about a surgeon. That was my dad, right? He'd be like, say hello to my little friend. Scapel. Night, night gowns. What do you call those? Night, whatever they are. Evening gowns, thank you. And they are gorgeous. And I am a super friendly guy. And like, I barely like my tongue in my own mouth. Why do I want to put it in somebody else's mouth? Sometimes they have a partner and the partner comes in and chops their head off. And that's what this breakup was like. Uh, our next storyteller dated his cousin. This story is called The Vile Projectile. His name is Jonas Solheim, so clap for him. That is something that I should absolutely be embarrassed about, and I get more embarrassed buying toothpaste. I tell that story to everybody that I meet because I think it's hilarious, just like I think this story is hilarious. I was 17 in, it was like 2012, uh, The Dark Knight Rises had just, was about to come out, and I spent the afternoon at my church with a friend. We were um, volunteering at a, an, ice, an ice cream social, we're handing out food to all of the people that came. We're having a good time. We're building community. We're talking. We're having a good time. And um, at the end of the night, we were going to go, my friend Josh and I were going to go to the midnight premiere of The Dark Knight Rises, which was very exciting. We were in high school. It was the start of that whole superhero movie type deal. And he had a car, so that was important. I did not have a car. He bought the tickets, which also proved to be very crucial uh, we get to the theater. It is the ultra screen. So I'm very excited to see this big movie on this big screen. We go into the theater, and I'm like, where are the seats? Where do we go sit? And he leads me all the way down to the front, all the way over to the right. So I'm watching the movie on a screen that's three times bigger than the normal screens, slanted, completely sideways. And the movie's like two hours and 45 minutes or something. It's this like ludicrous beast of a movie and while the whole thing is going I'm having a really good time I'm like this movie is really fun it's really well made I really like you know uh, Tom Hardy it's great none of this is important the <laughs> the movie ends and we sit through all the credits because my friend Josh goes there's got to be a scene at the end they've got to do something for you know to wrap this whole thing up and I'm like there's he they don't do that for this movie and he makes me sit through all the credits. So we, by the time we get out of the theater, it's like 3.30 in the morning, 4, something like that, close to it, because of all the credits, or all the um, trailers and stuff at the beginning. And we kind of, while we're sitting there in the credits, I'm kind of thinking to myself, I don't feel very good. Um, I had been eating like candy and popcorn at the, at the movie, um, not more than anyone else usually does, I didn't think. But I'm sitting there and my stomach is kind of churning and I'm like, I, re I really don't feel good. We get up, we start to walk out of the theater and I'm like, this could be a problem for me and everyone else. We go out of the big double doors. If any of you have been to the Marcus Point Cinema, it's the big double doors that go out of the, um, that lower level of the ultra screen. The lights hit my eyes and I think, oh shit. <laughs> and I run down the stairs because it's four in the morning and I'm about to throw up and I know how hard puke is to get out of carpet. So I want to get off of the carpet and onto the tile of the bathroom that's across the hall. And I'm busting past people. I'm running as fast as I can and I throw up and I catch it in my mouth. This, I, it gets really, I'm sorry, it's gross. I catch it in my mouth and I keep bolting. I'm like, I can make it. I just got to get there. And I throw up again, and I catch it in my hands. Because I don't want it to get on the carpet. It's so hard to get out of carpet. And I know someone who works there, 
and he's a friend, so I'm like, I don't want to give him the job at four in the morning of cleaning up my puke. He knows me. That's so rude. So I'm running to the bathroom, and I, I'm, bu- I'm bumping into people, and I get to the bathroom, and I, I hit tile. My feet hit tile, and I drop the puke, and I run to the back stall. I'm throwing up more than I've ever thrown up in my whole life. And I'm crying because I don't know what's going on. And I have to use the thin toilet paper that they have at the movie theater to get it out of my fingers. It's so gross. I'm so sorry. Um, and I'm, I'm finally done. I'm finally, like, empty. And I sit there, and I'm, like, shaking. And I'm like, what is wrong with me? Was I poisoned? What's going on? And I hear people whispering, like, talking to each other in the bathroom. Did you see that guy? Oh, my God. Is he okay? Someone should call somebody. And I'm like, are they, they're talking about me. I'm, I'm, the, I'm the guy. Like, oh, my God. I come out of the bathroom, and my friend Josh grabs me. He goes, we have to go right now. And we head out, and I'm like, what's the problem? He goes, that guy wants to fight you. What guy? He goes, you threw your puke on a guy. <laughs> I thought <laughs> that I dropped it. I bumped into somebody and dumped my puke all over him. <laughs> and then I ran away. <laughs> um, <laughs> so it turns out I get very motion sick. <laughs> Um, especially if I sit very close to a movie screen. Also, very bad food poisoning from all the food from the church that was mass-produced very quickly. Um, so I, there's no moral to this story. <laughs> um, don't sit in the front row of movie theaters, I guess, is my message that I'll leave you with. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you, Cousin Dater. You'll never live that down with me, Jonah.